In this video, I'm going to describe our automated ice cream cone system. So here I have got the PLC, which consists of a sensor and the three machines. So the sensor detects whether the cone is healthy or not. And the machine one is used to put the ice cream inside the cone. And the machine two is used to add sprinkles on the ice cream. And the machine three is used to add peanuts on the top. So here we need to have the shift registers and whose input bits come from the sensor so that means if we uh, have a healthy cone in such condition we put one and if we have a broken cone in such condition we put zero so for the very first step we have a healthy cone that means we put one in here and so when we go to the second step uh, we shifted the data to the left so and we again provide a broken cone in the step two so that means we have the zero on the step two so in this in the step two uh, we can see that our machine one is working and that means uh, our cone is get filled with the ice cream whereas uh, we have the broken cone in in the sensors so Again, for the step three, if I provide the healthy cone, so in such condition, we can see that our data were shifted to the left. So that means our the very first cone is get filled with the sprinkles, but whereas our, uh, our second cone is not being filled. That means we already know that our second cone is broken. Similarly, for the uh, very fourth step, our data were again shifted to the left and we provide a healthy cone in step four. So here we can see that uh, this cone is get filled with the ice cream and, and this cone is broken. That's why the machine is not operating and, and, and this cone is get filled with the peanuts. So let me describe this uh, with the help of ladder diagram. I have got a ladder diagram as shown in here, and where we have got a new cone, and the BSL re refers to the bit a safe lab, and whose file address is shown in here, and I have got the control address, and I have got the bit address, and the length is set to three. That means we have got three views, and each of these bits will tell the machine what to do. So let me uh, look at the input value. So this is how my input looks like. And my input address is uh, i colon 0, 0. So I need to look at this uh, row. Let me adjust this. Uh, similarly, I need to look at the safe register. So this is my safe register. And my safe register uh, values uh, is b3. Dot you or this is my address for the safe registers and similarly i need to look at the uh, control so this is my uh, control this is how i get my control in here so let me run this program real quick so in here i can see that i have got a uh, three input so this is for the machine one and this input is for the machine one and this input is for the machine two and this input is for the machine three so when i run this program so i can see that i need to provide a very healthy cone in here so i provide a healthy cone in this in uh, in the in the input so when i toggle uh, this new cone or when i toggle this input it can be seen that my shift register will shift it to the left. So that means uh, I get uh, I get the one in here. So my very first machine is working. So when I provide the healthy cone at the first end, my machine one is working and the ice cream is being filled inside the cone. Again, when I toggle the uh, like again when i provide the a broken cone so let me put zero in here 
and to the toggle the input so it can be uh, seen that uh, my uh, shift register were shifted to the left or my builds were shifted to the left that means the machine one is not working because i have the broken cone in here but the machine two is working because uh, the very first cone is being filled with the sprinkles again when i provide a healthy cone and i again uh, toggle the input so it can be uh, let me toggle the input so again and it can be seen that my the shift register uh bits were shifted to the left that means like my machine 3 is working and my machine 2 is not working and machine 1 is working in here so that means uh, my very first coin uh, cone is being filled with the uh, pinners whereas my machine 2 is not working because i have a, a broken cone in the step 2 and my very first cone is been uh, or my last cone is being filled with the uh, ice cream because uh, I provide a healthy cone in step three. So uh, if I again provide the broken cone in the in the step four in such condition, let me see. I need to toggle the input. So while toggling the input, it can be seen that my shift register bits were shifted to the left so my very first uh so my first machine is not working because i have a broken cone in the last step so this is how we can uh develop the program for the automated ice cream cone system in the vlc